you smelt something there. Gives us a good opportunity to have a good close look at his beautiful locks. Fuzzy fuzzy hair. Right, good morning everyone. Um, today is very exciting. We're going to be starting a new mini-series. Uh, the name of this mini-series is The Main Man. Have you ever wondered what the purpose of a lion's mane is? There's so many theories that have been put out as to the function of a mane. In fact, um, there's so much debate that goes around the, the purpose of a lion's mane that I thought it's only pertinent that I actually devote a mini-series to this topic. Um, it's a topic of huge debate and there's many many theories that are put out there such as it's uh, there for protection in fights, such as it's there for sexual selection, females prefer bigger manes and um, the other one is, is that it shows um, the health of, of, a, of a lion. So um, if you want to find out more about the lion and its mane, I suggest you stick around. Hello guys. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you ready to go walking, my boy? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that full head of hair. Hey, Vietzi, still looking good, my boy. You like a man with a full head of hair? No, you prefer, prefer a bald guy, eh, hey, Libby? Ooh, yeah, is that a yes? Ooh, 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 ooh. That, that's not good. <laughs> you little big boy. Okay, so today we're gonna get, be getting a good look at that head of hair on Vaetsi. Uh, Vaetsi has always been known to be the kind of like the Brad Pitt of lions. <laughs> Uh, the surfer boy, if you will. <laughs> so yeah, um, he definitely still sports a brilliant head of hair, even at his age. Don't be silly. Yeah. <laughs> Getting knocked out the way today. Yeah. Hey, big bat. This is not a video on how beautiful Vietzi's bat is. Always a pleasure loading these three. Never, never difficult. Um, as long as you load them in the correct order. Wow, a lot to get through today. Um, there's a lot on my uh, agenda of what I want to say. Uh, there's a lot of um, articles that have been uh, um, researched to, to make this video. So not all of the information I'm going to be giving you here guys is my uh, opinion entirely. That's my disclaimer. So <laughs> I don't want people coming back and saying, hey Kevin you said this in a video and that's not true. I'm merely going to be relaying uh, facts um, as they are in the literature uh, and as they are accessible to everyone else out there. So let's go through the the phases of uh, of main growth. Uh, maybe that, that's a good place to start. Um, a lion starts to uh, get its mane, a male lion at least, at around about 12 months to 13 months of age. So at that age it starts to grow a lot of uh, hair on its neck region. So they get these little beards, um, quite cute I must say, they look quite clumsy when they start to get these, uh, these big beards and then their hair starts to also at the same time more or less sprout on the top of the head and uh, that, that little what we refer to as the mohawk kind of gets more and more pronounced um, up until the age of 
uh, about two to three. As the line gets older, the mane starts to, to fill out. Um, a three-year-old line you'll see still has uh, a pretty good mane, um, between three and four, pretty good mane, but what's lacking is uh, the mane filling out from the top of the head, that, that mohawk, uh, to toward the ear. So that's a, a, a very clear sign that the lion is not fully mature yet. And the other real telltale sign is on the shoulder. The, uh, there's a bare um, shoulder, the mane hasn't filled in there. However, here's cautionary number one, um, a lion like Vietzi never grew hair on his shoulder. So upper, the upper arm there, I will show you, I'll demonstrate with Vietzi, it filled out everywhere else but Vietzi's never had the most impressive mane in terms of length from the forearm back. Um, and he certainly, he certainly doesn't have any hair on his belly. If he does, it's, it's, a, it's a very tiny amount. Alrighty guys. <laughs> Mad lines. Hello, <laughs> <That> my boy. <laughs> Everyone's very excited. <laughs> Lazy, yo. It's like a half hearted run, that one, Vaetsi. Eh? <laughs> Lion mains, the debate rages on. So one thing you'll see with Vietzi is, um, oh, don't run away, boy. So he's got, um, he's got the mane on his elbows, those elbow tufts of hair. But you'll see when we get to a lion like Bobcat or uh, Yummy or um, George, you'll notice how uh, full that upper, the upper arm by the tricep and the shoulder how full the mane is there, whereas Vaetsi doesn't have that. Um, but Vaetsi has a very healthy, long mane. When he was younger, he had a, a, a lot more hair. So just like with people, uh, myself included, my hair uh, has changed. It has changed both in color and it has also changed in thickness. Um, I definitely had a healthier head of hair back when I was a youngster. Um, and the same goes for lions. So what happens with the lions? Oh. And that's the patch there, guys, that I'm talking about. So there's the elbow hair and there's the lack of mane on the side there and you can see he's got that little tuft that goes over so as i was saying as they get older they start to lose uh, the the thickness the fullness of the mane so younger lions aged between five six and seven in their prime have really full thick heads of hair and then as they get older the mane tends to change uh, in texture and it gets more wiry and more fuzzy and then they have these kind of thinner, fuzzier looking heads of hair. Oh, that's water there, boy. That's water. That's water. That's water, boy. Eesh. Yeah. Come, by it, see? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Look here. Can we go through there? Um, he's got a good head of hair still, but it has got thinner. And one thing we have noticed with Faetsi with age is that the mane has got darker. He used to be a lot blonder. Now we've come to the crossing and everyone's like, ooh, don't want to cross there. Get my paws wet. Come boy. <whistles> nope. <laughs> that was a rather clumsy jump across a river. Oh. Anyway, moving swiftly along. So I think all in all, actually what, uh, and I'm going to say some scientists have concluded is that manes are symbolic 
of fitness. So if a lion has a big, thick head of hair that's dark, the darkness has been shown to um, represent high levels of testosterone. So lions like Bobcat have these very high levels of testosterone, very, um, I'm not going to say aggressive, but you know, okay, well, let me say aggressive. Very aggressive lions, they feel, feel nothing to, you know, kind of go after other lions, whereas Vaisi is a little bit more cautious. So, a lion with a lot of testosterone uh, seems to be a lot more confident, a lot more brave. Fortune favors the brave. So, in that case, it makes sense that a lion with a dark mane and a full mane with lots of testosterone is going to sire more young. Hula. And we walk. Ooh, num, num, num. Okay, now we're going to have Vaetsi getting off on his having his dopamine hit for the day. You can see at the back of the mane there how, uh, if I just get around here, how the hair has definitely got darker on Vaetsi. Hopefully it'll roll. You can see his mane hair on his chest is, is not that thick, but the hair on his, on his hair, head is quite long. So Bayetsi has a long mane. His hair is very long. And that's, that's where he gets that surfer dude look, when, especially when the wind blows. Mr. Big, Mr. Big's hair um, blows with the wind and he gets that windswept hairdo. One of the interesting things that happened in my career working with lions is um, town Napoleon were the first two lions that I started working with. And one day, uh, when they were about six or so years old, six, seven years old, they had a massive fight. And so much so that Napoleon, who used to be the more dominant of the two, um, was injured. He got a, a, an injured paw, um, and he was limping around for a, a bit. And over the course of the next few weeks, uh, Napoleon lost his mane entirely. He looked like a big female. And so for me, there is the proof in the pudding that a mane is definitely a sign of health. So if you're looking at fitness, uh, look no further than the mane. If you see a lion with a full, you know, big, healthy looking head of hair, you rest be assured that lion is most likely very healthy and in very good condition. Um, and that is attractive, I suppose, if you're a lioness. Um, it's also intimidating if you're an, a, rival, a rival male. So often I, I can't help but think that the mane is not so much a, a, a mechanism of protection, uh, but it is a mechanism of intimidation. Because if you take a male lion and you look at how big and intimidating he looks with his mane, and then you actually shave it off, um, what you have, guys, at the end of the day is just a big, big female. So, but look at that. Vaetsi looks like a very impressive dude. And he is. Hello, my boy. I think that makes sense, doesn't it? So, yeah. You smelt something there. Gives us a good opportunity to have a good close look at his beautiful locks. Fuzzy, fuzzy hair. Long, long hair. Licking that smell to get it all into the system. And now he's gonna rub on it. There's not much of it there though, boy. I don't know what that is. Look at that hair. Yeah. Long. Long locks. Long locks from 
by its sea of Loxley. Very different in texture, guys, to the, the body hair and even to the tail, the tuft of the tail. The hair on the mane, the hair on the mane is not the same. This hair on his tail is actually a lot softer. Hello, boy. Oh. Vaiti. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, my boy. I think he says my my hair length is not good enough to be part of his little coalition. I better start growing in my mane. If I want to become a mane man. These are my boy. These are my boy. He's a nice boy. He's a good boy. Yes. He's a good boy. Nice mane. Nice mane, it's a nice mane, I've got a nice brush. But I suppose the, the real question is, and what it all boils down to is, how did these manes come about and what really is their purpose? Are they there because they were sexually selected? Are they there because of natural selection? Are they there because it was just something that developed and uh, was shown to be neither detrimental nor beneficial, so it just stayed? Um, who knows? My take on it is that it's definitely got to do with, um, it's got to do with condition, it's got to do with health, and it's got to do with uh, viability. So lions that have big, healthy, Heads of hair are more potent, they're going to be more dominant, more aggressive, they're definitely going to be able to chase away the other uh, lions in an area or compete for pride takeovers and that in turn is going to allow them to sire young. Uh, do subscribe if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos and you want to see more of these lovely crazy cats. <laughs> do subscribe and remember to turn on notifications uh, so that you don't miss a thing um, in this space of constant bombardment by so many different content providers we tend to miss out on the content that we really would like to see so put the um, notifications button on and then Every Friday when we produce a new core channel video, you guys will be the first to see it. And uh, yeah, every month, every three weeks we release a members video. Um, so on a Monday, I think it is. So look out for that too. Um, and here from uh, Livy and Jenny and uh, Vaetsi down below. He's too lazy to jump up here on the rock from all of us here on Line Whisperer TV. Bye. Thank you.